hey guys welcome back to my channel I know I've been missing for a minute now and I'm currently basically trying to make more videos now and trying to upload more instead of being lazy but today I'm basically installing a 6x6 lace closure and sewing in the rest of the bundles three bundles and today I'm also using the Erica J hold me down um, lace glue one thing I can say about this lace glue is that it is so good. Like, for real, for real, it is really, really good. Like, it really holds down your lace. And right now, I'm using a new technique that I learned from Erica J, where it's basically you're putting the glue on the hairline, on the cap, to basically hold down the cap instead of using the free spray from Got To Be. Right here I am just basically sewing around the perimeter of the um, the cap where I know that I'm going to lay the lace closure. One thing you should know is that if you want your closure to look like a lace front, you need to pluck it as if you're plucking a lace front. You need to make sure that it is plucked to basically looking like it is your scalp, it is your hairline. After putting makeup on the cap, I'm going to apply that same foundation that I put on the cap onto the lace closure and after putting on the lace closure I'm basically going to measure out the closure and see where I want to place it and make sure that it's correlating with her hairline. After um, placing the closure where you want it to be make sure you ask your client to hold down your closure hold down the closure So you may sew down the closure and also please don't mind my nails. They are looking real crazy It's yeah, I'm gonna get them done <laughs> So before I apply the lace glue, I'm going to apply, basically clean her forehead with um, the 91% alcohol and then also use the Erica J um, skin protector to um, basically hold down her lace closure really well and protect her skin. One thing I always do is apply four layers of glue. So you're going to apply your first layer and let it dry as clear as possible before you apply your second layer and continue. Do not be too generous with this glue because it really like you need to make sure that you don't apply too much of each layer so it doesn't get too clumpy and doesn't basically it will not dry up how you want it to be.
after the fourth layer is dry, basically I'm going to um, part out the area where I want her baby hairs to be and then hold down the, pull the lace closure forward and use the hair comb to push the lace closure to her forehead, basically pressing on it to make it literally melt into her skin like literally melt into her skin don't you like oh my goodness look at that hairline so beautiful After pressing down the lace you must blow dry it to basically for it to adhere to the skin and also one thing that I learned from Slay by Jordan on YouTube is to use the elastic band to hold your closure down or hold your frontal your lace down to basically really melt that lace to your skin. After basically using the elastic band to hold the lace down, I'm just going to start up um, sewing her bundles in into her head. As you can see as I take the elastic band off you can see that it is literally glued to her scalp like don't that already look like scalp like it's really giving scalp already
when you're cutting the excess lace on the lace off make sure you go zigzag and this scissors that I'm using is really really sharp but I would prefer to use that instead of the um, eyebrow shavers things that you could get from your beauty store but those work also too The only mousse that I always use is the Ni Nairobi mousse, which I feel like is the best mousse to use when you're basically making sure that you flatten the hair down and also when you're getting ready to hot comb your hair. A great tip that I got from Erica J videos is that it's best to use like your mascara to basically apply to areas that have been over bleached. After applying the mousse and everything and cutting your baby hairs, you can swoop it however you want to um, do the baby hair. However, I did her baby hair to mimic her actual hairline, how her original baby hairs are. This hair is actually from doll face underscore extensions. This is also a black owned business and also I will tag the Instagram down below in the description area. So 
though for the life of me I could not find my hot comb for nothing when I said I could not find it for nothing I could not find it so I had to use the um, cur curler to basically fat flatten her hair my goodness it came out so great she loves her hair and thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video and please like and subscribe don't forget to like and subscribe please and let me know what you think about this hairstyle what do you want to see me do next if you want to see more nail videos or hair videos and also i have some other videos on how to get free hair from amazon that is coming up soon so yeah, please be on the lookout for those videos and there's going to be more videos coming in regards of a business that I'm starting also. So please be on the lookout for it.